Good morning. It is Thanksgiving Day. We're gonna go for a quick three mile run, get the workout in before the festivities, because it's Thanksgiving and you know you have to uh, indulge a little on Thanksgiving, give thanks to what you have and all good things to come. So three mile run, I'm bringing you along for this run. It's a little bit, try and document the three miles. Um, it is 45 degrees this morning. Um, so not too cold, not too hot, it's still cold. Uh, so let's go for a run. All right, just completed one mile. 11, 40 minute mile. Really trying to work on my uh, posture, my form, and of course my breathing. Uh, running in cold. I don't know if that has an effect, but the half marathon is during your cold. It's in February, so training what you're gonna race in, right? So, let's go. Two more miles to go. All right, guys, two miles. One mile left. Seems like the first two miles are always the hardest. So, hopefully this third mile just goes by. All right, guys, so workout's over. Three miles, 3.14 to be exact. Not quite a 5K, but average of 11, 20, 11 minutes, 20 seconds per mile. Uh, so that's right on target of what the, the program wants. Uh, so it felt good. This is actually my true first run in, uh, it's not freezing weather, but it's cold uh, in the 40s. So that was a test. I can feel my lungs kind of trying to adapt to the cold air. <clears throat> um, nose was running throughout the, the run. But overall, felt pretty good. Like I said, miles one and two are they're basically the worst. Uh, Mount three was uh, just on like cruise control. Uh, by the time I hit three miles, I was like, oh, I'm at three miles. So it uh, came up unexpected actually. So uh, overall pretty good. Um, like I said, Thanksgiving day, uh, got out here early, beautiful day. We've been dealing with a lot of fog lately but anytime the temperature drops below um, 50 degrees, the fog kind of has a hard time uh, building. So, beautiful day. Uh, we're gonna go, I think we gotta go shopping. I think we forgot a few things, and like normal. Uh, so, fingers crossed that the grocery store is open. I think they will be, but uh, I know they kind of close early, so we gotta get there and get what we need. Um, turkey, ham, uh, the basics is what's going down for the, the um, Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, traditional uh, pumpkin pie, of course, we gotta get some pumpkin pie in there. Um, yeah, now I gotta go find Ollie. She kinda broke away from me during the, the run, doing her own thing today. So, See ya. Oh, Sunday coming up. So in four days, Friday, Saturday, so three days, sorry, math. Uh, three days, we got a long run, eight miles. Uh, mile warm up, six mile run, and a mile cool down. So a total of eight miles. 
Uh, so that's gonna be interesting. Uh, last week's was seven miles and it felt pretty good. My knee acted up after that seven mile run, but just with a little rehab and staying off of it and not running, uh, it's back to normal. So hopefully um, we don't encounter any knee pain after today. Like I said, it was only a three mile run, but uh, it's funny that you can say that it's only a three mile run because not such a long time ago, um, there is no way that I could run one mile without stopping and walking. Uh, so big accomplishments. I'm very proud of my progress sticking to um, a goal, sticking to a program, training program to reach that goal. So very proud of that. Uh, nothing new to us. Um, we've always set goals and we've killed it. Um, this is not my first uh i don't want to say like competition but like i said we've been active our whole lives um one thing that i'm not proud of is my body weight my current body weight i weighed myself i think two days ago and i was weighing about 275 can you believe that guys seven miles at 275 um my glasses are fogging up um so i need to get that under control definitely I'm not doing 100% towards my training. I'm getting the work in on the outside. So I'm running, I'm doing the program, but at home in the kitchen, I'm failing miserably. So um, I have to work on the diet. So that's definitely something that I'm going to uh, pay more attention to. Um, just because I'm running and burning these calories doesn't mean I can eat like total esh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so we got to clean up the diet. We need to stay on focus, stay on path and reach this accomplishment of a half marathon, 13.1 hour, uh, 13.1 miles. Sorry, lack of oxygen going to the brain. Can't talk. Uh, that'll be, I would consider pretty significant i'll be 47 years old when we when we uh go to vegas february 27th sunday and we do this half marathon um so yeah we'll see uh on the next run like i said coming up eight miles bye guys all right guys week three in the books um, closing the day out it's Sunday uh, as you can tell it is a foggy winter morning it is November 21st and we're gonna go and hit the track here uh, yesterday we did a seven mile for our long run um, for the week so today's just gonna be like a recovery run uh, one or two miles really slow pace just around the track uh, and overall for three weeks in um three weeks in to the training it's not bad um feeling good the seven mile run was uh uh easy it wasn't hard uh did at about a 12 12 30 minute mile pace average um so yeah coming off of a week vacation uh the cruise vacation um, if you haven't seen that video uh go back in the timeline here or uh scroll through the the archived videos on the channel and you can see that um cruise was awesome carnival cruise to mexico five day uh we still got in some some jogging on the treadmill so jogging on a treadmill on a cruise ship while the ship is moving and bouncing and uh, was very interesting. It was uh, it was uh, hard. Uh, I don't know how to even explain running on a treadmill uh, while the ship is, you know, going up and down. Uh, not that it was very turbulent, but there, you could still feel the movement of the ocean. Uh, so let's go get this. Let's go. 
So one thing I forgot to mention is um, running in cold weather. Um, as you see, I'm in shorts. Uh, I can run in a t-shirt, um, shorts. But one thing is that I have to get, a, I ordered a beanie too. But if my head is warm and I have to buy some gloves, if my head is warm and my hands are warm, I'm good to go. Uh, my legs, I don't really feel the coldness in my legs, but uh, check out the track. So everybody's here to do uh, some runs today. But yeah, gloves is a must for running, for me. So as you can see, how uh, thick this, the fog is this morning. It's actually not that bad, but you can't even see the other end of the track there. So, this is one of those things we deal with during winter, is this fog. So like I was mentioning, these gloves I picked up from Costco. They were, I think, 11 bucks. So, we'll see how they work out. Right, guys I want to take this opportunity or this time to talk about uh, injuries and injury prevention and and uh, staying healthy so I feel a little like tweak not an injury but a tweak in my right knee so um, can I get out there and run today yes but do I want to uh, longevity knowing that I have another 16 weeks of training to do to get to this 13.1 um, uh, half marathon um, so you gotta train smart um, and not overdo it not push it do I feel great mentally I feel great physically just a little tweak in my right knee um, so uh, so that's why I just went out there and basically walked around the track for a mile um, just, to, just to keep mobile, just to keep the blood flowing, uh, getting those nutrients into the muscles. Um, so, yeah. Tell me what you guys' experiences with injuries and maybe how you've overdone it or, or if you played it smart. And, and uh, do you think it's a good thing? Do you think it's a bad thing? Um, share your experience.